Oh, yeah. oh hold, hold on one second. I gotta get something bag here. <clears throat> no, that's not it. Quite here. One second. I thought that was in there. No, you know what? That's right for the video. gentlemen and movie lovers of all kind, welcome back to another new release review and for today we will be covering Mary Poppins Returns. So Mary Poppins Returns was directed by Rob Marshall, stars Emily Blunt, Lin-Manuel Miranda, and Ben Whishaw. And this time around it's been probably about a good 20-30 years since the people of this world last saw Mary Poppins. Now this time around we are once again following the Banks family, but like I said 20-30 years have passed and now they've actually just gotten a notice that their house is about to be repossessed. And that they have five days to come up with the money to pay off the debt. And what better time for Miss Poppins to come back around than right now. So we just hop right into the positives, guys, and I think this is the one that everybody has really been drawing major attention to. No big Oscar talks yet, but there has been already a Golden Globe nomination handed out, and that is for Miss Emily Blunt, because she does a phenomenal job filling in the shoes of Julie Andrews. They're big shoes to fill, okay? Mary Poppins is a massive, massive, iconic character. It is a character that kids still know would resonate with today, even though the original film came back out in the 60s. Mary Poppins, huge, huge shoes to fill, and Emily Blunt does it perfectly. The next is the moments of animation in this movie. I mean, there's one that's kind of like an underwater scene that happens earlier on in the movie that I wasn't a huge fan of, but the rest of the animation that takes place throughout the movie is actually very well done. It's very crisp, very clean. And next is something I was very surprised about, because if you guys have been following my channel, again, you should know that I'm not a huge musical fan. I don't really love musicals a whole lot. But this movie, it does have a lot of very kind of really nice, catchy songs to it, honestly. I had a lot of fun with a lot of musical numbers in this. And next it's just that although the story can seem a bit dark like hey these people are about to lose their childhood house can seem a bit dark but really there's a lot of really kind of nice fun heartwarming moments in this movie honestly and to be honest the rest of the cast was actually really good too I know I give my like, high praises to Emily Blunt and she's by far the star of the movie but the rest of the cast is pretty good too. The kid actors actually really aren't that bad. They're pretty solid. But the standouts in my mind are Lin Manuel Miranda, who plays a lamplighter in this movie. I thought he was really good. He gets a lot of musical numbers, a lot of solos on his own, and his character has a lot to do in this movie. And Meryl Streep actually has a very brief minor role in this movie. But I found her character was it was just something I'd never seen her do before. And the character was a lot of fun. She kind of has this goofy accent, and of course she has a musical number and everything in it. There was no one in this cast that I didn't like. Colin Firth's in there too. You guys should know Colin Firth. He plays the baddie in this movie. But again, he's just fun to watch. Everyone had a nice, pleasant presence in this movie. They all did their jobs and they all were really good. And lastly is the costume design. You have your lamplighters, then you have your kind of more wealthy people, then you have your middle class, then you have the different jobs, the children, things like that. Mary Poppins, of course, herself has a lot of very nice, lavish outfits. The outfits, the costume design in this movie are really well done, and I honestly wouldn't be surprised if you see an Oscar nod for that either. And now for the negatives of this movie. They're not really big negatives. The first one is just the, the runtime of this movie. I think it was just a little bit too long for its own good. It clocks into two hours and ten minutes, which isn't very long of a movie in general in my mind, but it can be considered long for families. You know, you want to take your kids, you're not really going to entertain your kids, like little small kids with this movie for a whole two hour and ten minutes in my mind it really just it seems like a bit much and there was definitely like I was watching the movie like you definitely could have shaved that down a bit that didn't need to be in there or some scene just kind of kept going or the song kept going I was kind of like all right this isn't really necessary this song could have ended like a couple beats ago and lastly for the negatives already guys although like I said the plot is very heartwarming it's sweet it's easy to follow it's, it's a very nice pleasant family movie experience that doesn't come away from the fact that it's very predictable, it's very generic by the numbers plot line, and the very generic baddie. The baddie is played very well by Colin Firth, but the baddie just is a very generic baddie. His plan is very generic, the stuff that he does and says is very generic. So with all that being said, I'm going to give Mary Poppins Returns a 7 out of 10. I think it's a perfectly good, fun family holiday movie, and I think it's worth checking out. So if you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and let me know. What were your thoughts on Mary Poppins Returns? And do you think it is the sequel that we deserved after such long ways? And be sure to check me out on social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links will be in the description and at the end of the video. And be sure to check out my Instagram page every Friday for the Fan Vote Friday. The third week of the Christmas Challenge is going on right now, so head over to my Instagram page, click on my story, and be sure to vote for who you want to see in the finals. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and that's a wrap.
Oh, and they also have Spider-Man from the MCU. 